<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to another movie review vlog and this month is going to be a very special one because I'm going to review a whole wide variety of horror movies out there in celebration of Halloween coming up later, th later on this month. And before you ask, no I'm not going to do a sequential 30 days in a row or 31 days in a row or less than that of every movie review leading up to you know, Halloween or whatever. It's just gonna be like at least one or two movie reviews um, a week throughout the month of October because I do enjoy Halloween and I do like a good scare as well when it comes to horror movies and after the somewhat successful movie vlog from my previous one, it, I figured why not give it a shot with a few other horror movies this month and uh, so with that said, let's get started with our very first movie review, 10 Cloverfield Lane. Now, 10 Cloverfield Lane is somewhat the successor of the previous Cloverfield movie, meaning there's a bit of a sequel, maybe a bit of a prequel, but it's up to the imagination. Where in this one, it's about three survivors in, a, in an underground bunker who try to survive, but also tensions arise. Because the thing about this movie is that it's a bit of a bottled movie, where it's all self-contained in one general area, focusing on a minimum of three, four characters at least. And I gotta say, these three these three actors are pretty pretty phenomenal. For one thing, John Goodman is always John Goodman, whether you like him or not. He's always a A-list star of an actor, especially in this role that he's playing in. It is quite done, and especially Mary Elizabeth Winstead. She is quite the underrated actress, in my opinion, because she is she has been doing pretty well for the most part over the last ten years or so when it comes to film and television work. And she is quite charming as well. It is without question that she is actually great in this one as well. There's actually a third guy as well. I keep forgetting his name, but he was okay as well. But throughout the movie, we do get a lot of uh, scenes where tensions do mount, do arise, and whether or not they could trust one another or possibly not. And near the end of the movie, things really take a pretty much a 180 turn. I don't want to spoil too much about it, but it is actually quite well. My only really complaint about it is that it's a little... It kind of it felt like it was a little too short, given it was only an hour and 40 minutes longer, roughly. But at the very least, there was a lot of stuff going on, and there was a lot of tension both inside the bunker and a little bit of outside the bunker. And if you guys watched the movie yourself, you know exactly what I meant by, mean by that. Yeah, I, I would have to say that apart from it being too short, another thing I would have to complain about is that how some things in the movie with the characters, I don't want to discuss too much about it, are a little bit too one-sided but as it turns out that some of the characters that you think you know are not exactly who they are but i'll just leave that up to you once you see it so overall i would have to say i would have to give this movie a three and a half out of five stars and uh it's quite well done and with that said i hope you guys enjoyed this little movie review for this month i do have a few more in stock which i will present throughout the month of october obviously and if you guys like have any requests of your own or tell me what you think feel free to well if you guys have any opinions or what you thought about the movie feel free to leave a comment below in the comment box obviously and if you guys have any requests for any upcoming horror movies for this month feel free to hit me up on patreon for the low price of one dollar a month and with that said I'll see you all next time.